Hi Scorpio, welcome to this Tower Love reading. My name's Sophia. Welcome to this community. Now Scorpio is interesting because I was hearing, well, you know, getting the, uh, you know, from them lot, I call it upstairs. Um, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. So um, I think it's connected to you and your person. So for example, you may be saying Scorpio, well, oh, as soon as it gets tough with my person, as soon as I say something, he runs or, you know, he or she, Scorpio, or as soon as I ask for commitment, I ask for a present, I ask for something, they run. But I felt a kind of, oh, actually, that when the going gets tough, the tough get going, it was the same uh, it's so interesting to me, maybe, maybe you might think, I don't know what you're on about. But to me, it was the same wording, but it's changed. Like, <clears throat> actually, uh, I've been doing it wrong. Uh, when the tough, uh, when the going gets tough, the tough get going, meaning, I'll give an example. Say you're in a business and you're an entrepreneur and your money's dwindling. No one's booking you, right? Does that mean you quit? right does that mean you blame others does that mean you get another job or get a 3d job or doing or something like that that just means you get going so you go deep and you know go into why is it stopping or shall i do some more marketing shall i change my service you get going that's what it's the same wording right but you get going well before you was blaming that line of those words on your person right so i don't know if that's you or your person <laughs> if it's your person you don't know that this is happening but that depends if you're doing the work i've got counseling now i've been guided to get going on doing counseling i've put up today pay as you go um but it's a ongoing service but i'm just giving you the option to pay as you go i prefer to do it in bulk but i do understand that is that contradiction of if I get you successful, then you can afford me. But I've done that already. I've had plenty of people in mission, depends how long you followed me, who I get going and successful, then they fuck off, right? I don't receive it back. So I'm not saying I'm never doing that again. But so what I do now is I give you the option to pay me on a drip, an equal balance. Uh, yeah, because that's what's and that Libra's in uh, what is it? Libra's in the moon at the moment. Libra is massive at the moment for about balancing out this. So it is about this planet is all about balance and equal balance, right? So let's jump in, Scorpio. If you're new or if you're not new, I've got a Facebook group. It's going very well. D done a live on there today. Everyone who's in mission is in that group. YouTube's great and fantastic and I love it and I and appreciate the opportunity but you can bunny hop from video to video which doesn't really do anything so the Facebook group you can meet all like-minded people and all of us who are here to help you um, to be uh, who are in uh, mission and then you know you can see us and maybe choose to be in mission or whatever so you don't just get me you get like I said D done alive my sister will write up something she's in mission my son you know joey um others all you get all in one spot so it's brilliant the links in the description box below now pre-warning it's not a warning as such but i only want people in there who are ready to make changes this isn't just another channel i'm opening for you to get more information i only want people in there that is serious that wants to make changes to change planet earth because that's why you're here right so come on then scorpio let's see what's going on it's free to join private group description box all the information for the facebook group all right so oh they want me to stop on the seven of swords so why let's see what's happening scorpio all right and check out my counselling as well. Like I said, I have to reprogram you. And that's long term. <sighs> Seven of Swords. Yeah, there's a there's been a deception, what I feel, with these three straight away. 
you've been lying to yourself seven of swords nine of cups seven of cups i'm always getting seven of cups i think with you virgos uh seven of swords nine of cups seven of cups to me means you're lying to yourself about your happiness i feel it was connected with the initial energy of like get going you know instead of looking the delusion is can you see here this guy the masculine right and that is you because this is a guy right could be a woman you don't know really but i'm saying today it's a guy because the masculine is i don't want to really say this as a bowl uh what is it a, a a blanket statement but when you're in your masculine you seem to blame right when you're in you don't blame when you're in the feminine because you go into the heart space but look can you see she's pointing the finger he or she you know but the masculine i'm saying that's the masculine so you're pointing your finger at things right you could be even blaming god here you know, oh, well, it's not down to me, it's down to the guys and all this sort of thing. But you know, and that's what I'm saying. Seven of Swords is lie, cheat, still. So you could have someone over there you think is cheating, lying, you know, lying to you. Deception here, because Seven of Swords here with the deception about, uh, and uh, I heard, well, I got, um, your happiness was stolen from you. So you might even say that some other chick has come into the equation and stole your person. And uh, if you're new, it doesn't matter if you're not if you're new or not. I used to say uh, the saying, well, I've said on this channel before, Scorpio, it didn't, if Brad Pitt, I give Brad Pitt as an example, I'm not really into Brad Pitt, but he's quite known, right? So if he knocked on my door and said, oi, oi, and done his willy dance, naked, right? Uh, I'll be like, oh, that's very nice, Mr. Brad Pitt. And, you know, I wish I could record it and get some money from it and all that. But, you know what? See you later. Why? Because I got my person. My point is no one can steal anyone. When people say, oh, my gosh, people who encourage people who are with someone who's married, you can't. It's an impossibility. They're, that's why I say, Scorpio, there could be millions of supermodels around your person naked. They are, love is love. This isn't just a twin flame example. If you're a soulmate, you really love that soulmate, it doesn't matter who comes on to you. You're like, I'm with my person, matey. See you later. So they're just using an ex external a situation of a piece of paper such as marriage to meet, make people stuck. If then, um, if my person left and went somewhere else and I knew, right, he loved that person, I'll, I'll release him. This is what this is about. So there might be something in that for you to learn. I'm just saying because people hold on to the person and try to grab them back, you know, when they leave. I'm like, what for? They don't love you. Let them go. Right. And if you love someone, you can't be swayed into someone. So why why do people put the threat of, oh, you're married? You shouldn't. You are. What is it? Marriage breakers or something like that. I would argue the case with anyone. I would say, yeah, if I'm married and I'm unhappy and someone else came along. Yes, I'm going towards love because that's loving myself is going towards love, regardless of a fucking piece of paper in church. Right? And I wouldn't even like to get married in church, to be honest with you, anyway. Could be something to do with that. Maybe that's your learning thing, because maybe you're following a religion, because I said something about God here. Maybe you're like, oh, my person's over there in, in Christianity, and I'm Jewish. I don't know. I'm just saying, I don't know nothing about religion. Little bits, little bits. Right? I'm just saying, it could be up in here. Seven of Swords is like, it's the middle of this deception, deception. Seven of Swords like you're surrounded by deception which is stopping you from getting your happiness who is this is this a religious cult do you hear that cult culture is that um and um your person could be over there doing some kind of uh, drugs as well because seven of cups is addictions or you could be in uh, addictions an addiction of a, a habit or something like that and he's just seeing you casually. She's just seeing you casually. Seven of Cups. 
Eight of Swords, Seven to, of Swords to Eight of Swords. This is you stuck in your head about this. You're stuck on the lie, cheat, still. Oh my gosh, Sophia, he lied to me or she is cheating on me or whatever, right? You're just stuck on that. Uh, what about your religious cult, right? That's part of this learning process of you being a twin flame, Scorpio. It's not just about your person lying. If they're lying, well, good thing is, it's reflecting to you about lying. The laws of the planet, right, I'll, I'll give an example, but, you know, it sounds bad, but it is what it is. I only give you universal laws. If I lied and I killed someone, right, I have not, right, if I lied and said I killed someone and you lied and said I stole a, a 10p lollipop in a sweet shop, this is how universal laws is. They don't care about the lie. Did you hear that? So if I murdered someone, but I lied to you, you would say, because this is about lies and deception here, and you're sucking your head about it. You would say, Sophia, I only lied about a lollipop. You lied about murder. It's completely different. Not on the planet. And why is it so? Why is it so? It's not about uh, where there's variations, because there's variations because we're all uh, different variants, right? Energetic frequency forms. So we're all different in code. So they give a universe, the planets, I don't know how it made it up, right? The universal law is just don't fucking lie, period. You see? Because it started off sounding bad, but if no one lied, seven of swords, and here's what it is then you won't attract liars. That's what this planet is about. That's why it's so important you learn natural law. Kabbalah website, right? You understand how it works on this planet. Because people say, oh, I don't have addictions. My person does cocaine, weed, drinks, and spends so much money. And I'm like, well, are you addicted to having this person? Are you addicted to eating sweets hello <laughs> are you addicted to um junk food to a glass of wine are you addicted to going to a 3d job that you hate this law of the planet isn't that you do see what i mean if you're addicted to something you get someone who's addicted it's not a variation of well well weed is far worse than me just having a chocolate bar you know every day can you stop having that chocolate bar, right? If you can't, you're addicted. Then you attract like attracts like. It doesn't say degrees of exact like or whatever. Like attracts like. So there's something here with that within in this reading. This will teach you to get onto your path of happiness because I feel you've attracted someone who's completely different within my four of wands you can see you know same sex you could be gay you could be older can you see the gray hair you see um whatever different color different culture like i said and you could be religious maybe they're not and it's your happiness but you're surrounded by other deceptions of what how to live when there's someone here you love and that's it i've done a speak i've done a video you get so much more join the facebook group please I done a talk video in the Facebook group, and I mentioned there were I ask people ask questions, so I answered a question, and one person said I think she was straight. Her her twin flame was a, a lesbian, a, a man, gay, or something. I can't remember, right? And I said that. Which my point is, what does that matter, right? That's the person I love, regardless if he's man, woman, black, white religious skint do you see what i mean love is love hence i'm talking about natural law it doesn't think of well oh that person has killed someone and uh, unless that person who's killed someone is in the negative right right but if he releases it and works on himself do you see what i mean but the color the culture the religion the money the distance the law of the planet i don't care if you're positive and you're aligned with a twin flame who lives halfway across the world, the laws of the planet, it is like attracts light, will get that person to you. 
that's how it is the impossibility is the temperance card turning wine into water water into wine can't remember which way round is what you think is the impossibility but the temperance is about two souls in one body twin flame but the temperance card is also connected to patience this takes patience and stop blaming as pointing the finger this is about how you love yourself to attract your stuff your stuff your things your situations people and events into your reality right your choice you love yourself and then you pull into your choices, but you are casually working on yourself. I, I, Every situation you make into a positive. I had someone who was quite negative who booked me, right? She did. I could tell from, I could tell before she got on, I was dreading it because I knew she wasn't ready for, I kind of pick up your energy before I even start, but I'm here to change your mind. But as soon as I got on, I could tell she wasn't happy. I said, well, how do, what do you think of the image? Well, I've had counselling for 10 years. Negative. But he's a positive. Now I can use her for an example, right? Because she's had 10 years of counselling, but she was still negative. This is about you casually doing, loving yourself. And I, I, and I didn't say to her because there was wasting my time. There was no point. I wasn't getting through to her, so I cut off right because i could have said all day long she was not ready so i cut myself off i said listen my guy you're not ready for counseling right no why point wasting my time or her time right no point but this is you you could have had 10 years of counseling for sexual abuse which once again i've done a uh, i wrote up today in in um mission in, in sorry in facebook group i said it doesn't matter if you have 10 years of counselling, but if you are if you feel rejected as a child or if you've suffered, uh, say she, that woman had 10 years of sexual abuse, right? But she, but she was in a job she didn't really love and she felt um, not, um, they didn't respect her. Say she was people pleasing. Say she, she just booked me just because. Who books me just because, you know? Well, I wanted to just try different forms. Now, you book people because you resonate, because you think they're going to help you. She wasn't open, so there was obviously issues. If you still, like, you know, blaming people, if it, that's all negative, regardless of one element of sexual abuse. This world is about balance. That's why the Libra is on top of the tree of life. So I was like, you, well, she was balancing out sexual abuse and narcissistic parents, but she was still affected by it with all elements in her life. This is about you trying to love yourself, but it's casual. You're delusional about it. You're doing it on maybe the time length. Well, I've had 20 years. She was like, I've had plant therapy. I've had this. But I said, I can read energy, right? That's my gift. You have a gift as well. And so did that woman. I didn't get to see it because, like I said, she was negative. My gift, I can read it. I said, if you had cleared out that negative, it would have been an impossibility for me to read that you had sexual abuse because it would have been gone. So the very fact that I could read and p be specific on dates or when you had it means it's still in your energetic field. You can transmute it. Whatever therapy you've done did not. Oh, I've done this, this, this. She was not having it. This is you not having it. I've done it. I've done it, Sophia. I've loved myself. You've done it casually. And I didn't dispute to her. I said, I, I don't, you know, that's you. You could have 10 years. I said, but who, who does 10 years of counselling anyway? If you're doing it for 10 years, obviously it ain't working, right? That goes to show I cut her off. But my point is you're delusional about something here. You're too casual. And you put the looks. This is hermit, um, the inner work, Virgo, right? This represents a hermit. You've put the inner work behind you because you're pointing at the one cup and you think you're empress. But this is, you think you're the empress. I'm healed. I'm loving myself. I nurture myself. But it's the delusion. And that's why you keep attracting because she didn't have a clue about natural law and what she was attracting. Not a clue. Uh, so this is that reading. I don't know. You know, go check out the Facebook group. It's in the description box, Scorpio, or you can go straight to my website. I've got a, a counselling page and all sorts, you, you know, which can help you. Everything's in the description box. So there's your reading. Absolute changes are, is a must. 
I can't, it's not my fault if you've had 10 years or some kind of something here that's not working. If you're doing anything at all or you're delusional that you love yourself and you haven't done anything. I've had to have it. I don't tell people to do stuff that I don't, I haven't done myself. I think I'm quite advanced, to be honest with you. It might sound vain, but I am. I have a load of communities, mission, now Facebook group, but I still had to have external counselling because it was too close to me. I could not see it. I could not see it. So this is about you working, really loving yourself. You truly love yourself. Like I said, if you truly love yourself, doesn't matter if your person's in Africa and you're in UK. They will come towards you. Universal law. So maybe, uh, you know, check out that. I've got that on the Kabbalah as well on my website. So I'm out. Speak to you later, Scorpio.